this is my spot. Hello guys, I'm Felix, I'm from Domino Chinese. And uh, here's a green screen, and this green screen uh, will today turn into a video that will show you how to set up Chinese so that you can type in Chinese on your keyboard. Um, yeah, but that's for Windows 7. So any other users, uh, get away from this video. Anyone else uh, who's already on a Windows 7, please uh, feel welcome. Okay, so what we'll start with is um, we, uh, well, yeah, you can see the rest on your own here. It's quite self-explanatory. You just go in there, you go into settings. Um, there's just a few things that I want to point out here. I'll switch places because I like moving around. Um, now you want to go into languages and preferences. Uh, you can see it right there. I'm in the way everywhere I go. Full body tutorial wasn't a very good option in this case. Okay, now, there we go, that's probably very much better. Uh, now what you want to suggest, or what you want to select is pinion and then simplify. Make sure you select that, and then you're actually quite good to go. You see, you've got loads of different options here. Uh, if, you, if you select tr uh, traditional, that's not very good. Instead, make sure it's simplified, and also make sure it's pinion. You can type and write in other ways. All the people in China do that. I don't want you to do that, because what we teach you in the Domino Chinese course is to, uh, is to use the common way, which is now with pinyin. If you, however, don't know what pinyin is, you should definitely go to our course. By the way, I've made a little sign for this video. Go to our course at Domino Chinese, and uh, we'll teach you all about pinyin. Uh, now, when you're done with this, you press OK, and then you, we just want to show you how to actually type with this. Um, so you can see this on this end of the screen, right here, you can actually see, uh, you can now toggle between the different languages. So in this case, English and Chinese. Now you want to go to Chinese, and then if you start typing, uh, then using pinyin, you will actually see the Chinese characters appearing right in front of your beautiful eyes. Okay, so in this case, it's ni hao, and that means hello. And if you want to switch back to English now, you just go, uh, well, you just press that little button there in the bottom, and you go back to English, and then you can write ni hao Felix, for instance, and then it'll keep saying that but in English in that case, and not switch, not switch to Chinese. Now, if you want to write in Chinese, but then just have a word in English, you, can, you don't have to go back to that button every time. You can just press caps lock, and then it'll start typing, but without giving you the Chinese characters instead. So you can write ni hao, caps lock, Felix, and you're good to go. That's it from this full body tutorial. I hope you thought it was very entertaining. I certainly th thought, thought, yeah, maybe not. Uh, <clears throat> I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't already.